Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here with my good friend Luckless Lovelocks. Uh, we are checking out a new DLC for Across the Obelisk. It's called Sands of Ul Minin. That's how you would say it, right? Oh yeah, perfect. Nailed it. Hello everybody. <laughs> yeah. Ul Minin? Thank you. So, yeah, it's one of those, yeah. definitely. Uh, thank you to Paradox Arc for sponsoring this look. Uh, Across the Obelisk, I don't know about you, Luckless, but this has been on my radar for a while, but this is actually our first time playing it. Actually, to be fair, this is our second time playing Continuation it. of our first time. Continuation of our first time when we breezed through Act 1. Decimated. Uh, absolutely owned and didn't lose anyone or anything and didn't, nothing went Didn't wrong. have to retry the boss even Not once. even, Not even the one time that we did. <laughs> that didn't even happen. Uh, so in this DLC, there's a whole bunch of new stuff. We're going to be playing in the new zone, of course. Uh, there's also new like aura and curse mechanics if you're familiar with the game. Uh, there's new pets, enemies, bosses, new items, uh, a couple new heroes, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. If you've never played this game at all, this is, I, I would describe it like kind of Slay the Spire map choices, but yep. then the combat is sort of Darkest Dungeon. but And, and Slay the Spire because you're using the cards to... Yeah, and Slay the Spire. Yep. Yeah, it's a, it's a neat little mix mm -hmm. uh, we've upgraded our town a little bit and uh we've removed some cards from our deck we've upgraded some cards so we're just going to be absolutely owning pretty much <laughs> uh, we're going to try to own anyways we're going to be absolutely owning uh this is multiplayer obviously yeah and uh what's cool about this is um you assign slots at the start of the game so i'm in the first and fourth position i'm controlling magnus and evelyn Luckless is controlling Andrin and Reginald. And they, each have their, they each have their own like niche, I guess. Their own yeah. So Andrin like does a lot of attacks uh, from range, so can hit the back line. Reginald is like a healer and can do some some nuking. Yeah, yeah. Would you like to go through the middle, like straight through the middle of the map? Do you want to hit this like bridge up top? Do you want to go to that stone door where that kind of cave in the middle is? Kind of, kind of interested in the stone up. door. Okay, so what? we'll go right through the middle. Okay, so we're gonna go to the gorge instead of a desert. Let's begin. We do have some obelisk corruption available here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a way that we can uh, do like a difficulty modifier to get bigger rewards. I think. Look, it's up to you, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna pass on the obelisk corruption for this one. Yeah, this might be. This is the first time playing this act. It could be really tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the first act, we were fighting like these trees and these sheep. You'd hit the sheep, they'd be like, bah, every time. And it was like, fine. <laughs> we're like, we're owning, right? And then we got to like the boss the, of the act the one. The boss was significantly no, harder. <laughs> no spoilies, but the boss, yeah. This is one of those, this is one of those things where your run culminates in a big boss fight, generally. Mm -hmm. uh, but these guys, who knows? We got blade beetles and fennecs. You can see their resistances in the top left there. Um, so the blade beetle actually has a lot of physical resist. Um, that might be a challenge for us. But oh, and the Phoenix are actually, uh, they take additional damage from slashing. Yeah, exactly. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's good for us, actually. Mm -hmm. Now, um, as a quick, quick overview of what we're looking at here. So you, we kind of roll for initiative. This is based on your speed in the top and yep. then it assigns your order. I'm uh, Magnus, so I control this. Luckless can click on a card that he thinks I should play. And then I can take that advice. If I'm I not want, saying you if, should play that, by the way. I was just clicking on something. Yeah, but if Luckless <laughs> clicks on it, I'm not. I'm not selecting that. Obviously. Um, now, instead of attacking, what do you mean? Obviously, like you're just like you're totally discounting my choice. You're not even gonna think about it. <laughs> I'll think. Even about though it was I'll random. <laughs> I'll think about it. I'll probably have to cast it because I I don't have enough cards. But um, instead of attacking different slots, you'll notice on the card in this middle section, it says what it's targeting. All monsters, front monster. Sometimes they'll just say monster, and then you can choose whatever slot you want. Um, so it's a little bit different from this kind of 4v4 um, slot-based combat that you see in something like Darkest Dungeon uh, in that respect. So anyways... Let's go ahead and just one other thing apply. I wanted to point out is just below the turn yeah. order. There's a thing that says round one and then it says uh, there's like a meter. So it says yeah. excellent. So based on how fast you kill yeah. your enemies, you get different bonuses. So you want to try to kill them as fast as possible. Yeah, and I think this is something that comes into play uh, in later runs. Once you've built up your party, everyone becomes stronger. You've got better weapons, gear, equipment. Your town is upgraded like 
you know, you know the formula there. Uh, but it's going to take some time. Like, there's no way we kill these guys in the first round. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, we will. Uh, so let's apply some vulnerable. We'll apply some slow here. It applies to all monsters. It's like zero cost. So like, we'll just let her rip here. Oh, nice. Uh, I really like this bar underneath our heroes that shows the expected amount of like energy that you're going to have to cast your cards in the next round. That's mm -hmm. where the, the green is blinking there. So for you, it's going to go up three next round. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, from what we've noticed, it's it's use it or lose it. Um, yeah. So if, I don't, there's not a sort of carryover as far as I can tell. Uh, okay, front monster. Let's get some bleed going there. That's fine how, for me. How could you? It's so cute. No, these guys, they're, they're demons. They're demon spawn. Okay. My front guy, he's very focused on hitting front monsters, and he's focused on uh, blocks. That's like his thing. So depending on what cards we draw, that's going to be a determination. In the bottom right of the active uh, character, you can see their currently equipped weapon. So he's got the Wolf Slayer. A random hero gets an extra card per charge at the start of their turn, which is nice. He's also got the Shield of Thorns. When we play a defense card, I'm going to gain thorns. I didn't get any defense cards this draw, but these are very strong because they do damage to attackers. And then he's got the Forest Crown where uh, his max HP is increased and he gains two speed uh, or two fast um, when combat starts. So anyways, over to you. So Andrin takes his first turn. Um, Hunter's Mark is probably a pretty good idea. Yeah, Hunter's Mark is good. So when, when a character is marked, they take extra damage. Yep. Which I think you did. No, you didn't mark anyone. Okay. No, nobody's marked. Or there's Expert Tracker. Uh, the card is removed from combat when I play it. Draw one you extra well. card per charge at the start of the turn. Yep, that makes sense. Yep. I'll play that on myself. Uh, so now, now he's getting to choose from this, and he can discard up to five of these in his deck if he wants. These are these are good. I think I'll just I'm not going to discard these ones. Okay. Yeah. So the reason you'd want to do that sometimes is to like thin out your deck a little bit. Um, yeah. Like we had some burn cards. And we had some cards that like hurt us if we drew yeah. them. So it's like you can get rid of those types of things. Yeah, and we got those from like different events that we ran into and stuff. So I'm gonna hunters mark the guy in the back. Yeah, that's cool because you have like you have um, rupture, rupture, and, and shot, and now like I cha I upgraded rupture so I could actually aim it. Okay, so I could hit that guy in the back, make him bleed. Yeah, and he's not immune to bleeding or anything, mm -hmm. so um, you can click on the characters and see what they um, what their resistances are. Once they start playing cards, then you can learn what their abilities are as well. Uh, there's also ways you can see above their heads. They have some cards that they're gonna play as well. And there's ways that you can reveal what their incoming attacks are going to be. Um, oh, I think your Reginald your ankle. guy, your Reginald guy has that. Yeah, I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Ouch! Poisoned. Okay, speaking of Reginald, getting absolutely destroyed right now. <laughs> so there's a couple new things that we didn't see in the first act, like decay. So he's getting reduced healing. Uh, there's like this insanity thing where he's getting uh, less damage output. So. Yeah. Yeah, yep. these guys are going to be nasty. Now, I do have this healing rain, which gives us a regeneration, but it's global. So yeah, it hits we don't want that. the monsters and us. That's better if there's like one monster left or something, but... I'm going to freaking grant myself a barrier. Well, sure. Yeah, of I'm course. Getting, I'm getting attacked like crazy. Uh, fade so that barrier, me... do you want to just explain what that's doing? Yeah, so every at the start of every round, I'm going to gain 10 block. And I think it goes down once per round, right? Like next time it'll yeah. be 9 and 8. Yeah. Since he's taking a bunch of damage, I figure I might as well defend him. Uh, I could play this fade card. It uh, prevents one curse per charge. So what exactly is a curse? Is it the uh, pink ones? Yeah, it's the Insane, negative. Insane, poison, yeah. and decay. Yeah. Uh, and stealth, damage and heal, uh, plus 20% per charge. Yeah, mm. do you break stealth if you attack? Let's try it. Yeah. Let's find out. Okay. So okay, I still so have two stealth. more, so I could attack. Let's just see if it breaks Oh, it. yeah. Remove all charges after playing a card. Yeah. So okay. we should have played that at the end, but that's fine. I Actually, I just I want to see if the energy does oh. remain. Let's just let's test that out. Okay, so, so you I've have got, two. I've got two, so saying. I should get three more, and I should be at five next turn. Okay, so... Now, we have uh, to be Evelyn. careful, because the Scarab here has... Uh, or the Beetle has some block. Yeah, I've got 16. Mm -hmm. um, Evelyn is like... She actually can deal quite a bit of damage... Um, what, what do we want to do Big, big nuker. Also, she can yeah. buff other people, like give them energy and things like that. 
Oh, nice Okay, one. so let's get some burn going. So this guy in the front, he's losing... Um, he's bleeding. He's suffering fire damage. So he's going to take minus 13. Do you want me to be slamming this guy in the front? Or yeah, should I be I, going for this beetle? I think take out... Mm, take out the front guy. Okay. That's cool. What else do I have left? I got one. I think maybe I'll try to buff some more, like, blocking here. Okay. Let's put this on the back line. The enemies are pretty good about hitting uh, hitting the back line. Yeah, as you can Let's see. Let's deal... I'm going to go charge battery. I'm going to put this on the middle person because the lightning affects the people around them. Oh, right, yeah. And then I also gain more energy that I can cast uh, at the start of the next turn, so... Sweet. Okay, cool. What? Whoa. Hey. Where did that come from? What? Jade Hold Scarab. Up. Lucky Scarab. This is new. Okay. Complete the requirements of each Scarab to get a bonus at the end of combat. These are kind of uh, like, you know, in Dark Souls, you get those little guys that try to run away. Additional. Yeah, like um, treasure goblins. Yeah. So... Golden Scarab, kill it before it escapes to earn 150 per hero. This is a Jade Scarab. So kill it before it escapes to earn 50 gold, 50 gems, and 50 experience per hero. Are we going for it? He's got evasion, so he's like seven hits to get through it. I don't know. I think we just try and clear like clear what we can. Okay, I'm he's going to escape on this turn, so there's literally no way we can kill him. Now, I could do Toxic Rain, but one of the problems is that it it's it's a wet thing. So it prevents mm -hmm. one burn per charge. Yeah, we don't want to do that, I don't think. But it adds two toxic, and it's free. Yeah. Uh, it's up to you, man. I'm doing Whatever it. Whatever you feel. All right. It's a net It's a net bonus damage. Um, deflect, slice. So this will... Uh, I upgraded this, so it'll apply mark. Yeah. He, he probably doesn't benefit from the mark yep. that much, because he's going to... Yeah, you're right die soon i don't think he does he take 11 uh bleed on this i think he does eh yeah and plus okay. two uh acid okay. okay i'm gonna yeah yeah just hit him i'm gonna hit him we'll kill him okay. he'll die so on his turn and then i'll do die a, unless I'll they do aim some shot kind of on beetle dude i just noticed when you hovered that card it actually showed you the expected damage output oh yeah because remember that blade beetle has all that physical damage, so he was only getting like four. So you probably should have hit anyone else. Okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, see right, right here. You can see the, mi the oh, middle yeah, guy's yeah, gonna yeah, take yeah, 14. Okay, I didn't notice that before. And then it says evasion on the, on the beetle thing in the back yeah, of the scarab. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's hit the second guy. Um, oh, I didn't notice, did I have five? Oh no, that's, that's the Reginald guy that we're waiting on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was dead. Yeah, me too. Oh, there, ah, there it gone. is. The lightning zapped him. Ow. We had to wait till that guy's turn. So the AOE still hits someone that's uh, hidden. Which makes sense. Most yeah. games are like that, exactly. right? Uh, so, okay, Reginald's going in two turns here. Um, uh, it's I do, Reginald. Thank you very much. I have a Skull Splitter, which I've upgraded quite oh, a bit. It's just ignoring me. <laughs> it's insanely strong. So I'm just going to do this. That's huge. Uh, blunt damage taken plus nine now. Oh, I should have war. Oh, I should have war, war painted, painted first. I got a yeah. little excited. A little excited. Become so this the adds god powerful. of war. Yeah, this adds powerful damage and heal done uh, plus five percent per charge. The I person on that card looks this. familiar. Is that uh, it's Frodo, that's right? Baby, that's baby Kratos. <laughs> oh, I thought it was Frodo. Uh, baby Kratos. Kra <laughs> <laughs> so I got thorns now because I used a defensive card finally. Nice. Holy moly. That Scarab's intense, dude. Okay, Reginald! So, so here's that foresight thing. And Reginald has five now, so maybe it does carry over. Yeah, it does, I think. Uh, there's no real reason to use foresight because we could see the one card that they have. Yeah, the escape exactly. card. This so, would reveal the cards above their head. So I'm going to do Divine Retribution. It's free. If they attack me, they're going to take... Um, I get blast damage done and heal receive plus one per charge. Why do you say that's free? Oh, I see it costing. Yeah, one. Sorry, sorry. No, it, co it costs one. My bad. Okay. Last four uses. Okay. The, um, uh, hold on. The divine grace is okay because you've got a full hand right now. So you get a little bit of a heal um, and you get to dispel something bad. Okay. 
So it's up to you who you want to use it on, but... Uh... Who's got the worst thing? Well, if you click on it... You've got a lot of bleeding. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, try that. Try I'm going to use it on, on you. Front line. Oh, I didn't get rid of that. No. Okay. Dispel, I think, is only certain statuses, like not bleeding. So yeah, uh, Divine Retribution, if I get attacked, uh, I will deal 13 damage and Retribution for four turns. So I think that's going to be good to use. Uh... Oh, why did the... Why did your... Oh, something just changed there. Because you were going to deal way more damage with Flash, but I... Oh, maybe because I was coming at a hidden? Oh, uh, yeah, that's exactly right. Oh, that's too bad. So okay, you kill use your... One. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, I was going to suggest mm -hmm. using Flash on the Scarab because he's got physical resist, but his uh, his holy resist is only 8%. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, it's okay. Luckless's first tactics game. I'm, I'm getting him up to speed. We're going to be fine. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, beat, okay. I beat on at XCOM 2, by the way. That's that's a fact. That is a fact. <laughs> okay, so I can just finish off the guy in the front. Okay. I might as well just do that. And then, now, because now this guy's open to frontline attacks. Also, when is the Scarab going? Oh, he's going next. I think, yeah, on his turn, he's going to play fly away to escape. Yeah. I don't know, maybe we... So you'd have damage? to get through all these evasion charges, so we'd have to, like... You'd have to have some type of dispel or something to get rid of that. Oh, it prevents uh, seven hits. Okay, I thought it was maybe like a chance. No, no, it's hits. That, yeah, like it's full it's, on, full on evade. It's very specific. Mm -hmm. uh, hands in your card times point five. I think I'm gonna pass. Well, yeah, because this is the one time I can use it. Yeah, I'll maybe pass on that. Um, who's not... going next? Uh, let's. I'm gonna buff Andrin a little bit here. Okay. And then uh, I got two more. Let me throw some ice at this guy. And then this little <laughs> icon means uh, it's going to vanish. So you can only play it once per round. Gotcha. Or once per game. Save it until you have a bunch of cards in your hand, I guess. Yeah, if possible. Okay. Android's up. All the damage. There's your so, wild So card. I have five. This is free. Uh, so it's going to vanish. What is it used uh, for every energy used? Apply one to a random monster. So uh, play it. Okay. This is a no-brainer play it card for you. Mm -hmm. This is like every character has like some special cards that are enchantments that uh, keep them buffed for a little bit. Ooh, backstab. Uh, yep, yeah. I think. Well, that's going to gain you stealth. So you should probably have not done that, but you can attack out of stealth for more, right? Exactly. So either way, it's fine. Uh, and I will rupture. Yes. Yeah. Try to get that bleed going. Get the bleed on him. There we go. Especially because he has those resistances. I think we kill him here, actually. Yep. Oh man, I actually got no attack <laughs> cards. <laughs> Whoops. If if you can believe it. What? So what does that do? Does that? It's intimidate. What is the yeah. last uh, icon? This uh, here. I'll show you in a sec. So, oh, um, okay. all yeah, resistances all minus ten percent lower, which would be great if I could follow up on actually that, attack. <laughs> I cannot. Okay, he dispelled that. Ooh. Of course, as one does. Now, some of these items, um, some of them happen at the end of round or at the end of combat. So we're gonna heal a little bit. I think we actually have two sets of different bandages. Two bandages, yeah. So I'm just gonna kill this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I have to think too hard about this. Yeah, look at that damage. Woo! Victory okay. achieved! So we win combat, we get to pick a new card if we want, or we can choose shards, which are used for uh, upgrades. Mm -hmm. I don't mind this sweeping strike. Ooh. Multi-shot, can... deal five damage to all monsters. Oh, yeah, I like some of this AoE stuff, like Sweeping Strike I'll take. The one thing um, to consider is you don't want to always take the most expensive cards because you just won't be able to use them a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, Cauterize actually looks good for us. Heal X. X is equal to the target's uh, bleeding, and it dispels the bleed. So there's a way to get rid of that. Yeah, that's think, a problem we've been having. I think I'm going to take Bad Augury because it does some damage, and we can look at their cards, and it's free. Let's do it. Uh, we can also, like, in deck builders and stuff, you, generally you want to keep your deck pretty thin. Um, but in the nature of, like, experimenting, we kind of want to try different we things. We want to experiment. The beetle nest. Entrance to a beetle nest, the environment inside is quite toxic. 
You can go in to retrieve the topaz as well as some golden shards. The further you go, the more golden shards you collect, but the more dangerous it will be. How far do you want to go? <laughs> you, I'll let you pick. I'll let you pick. Short, intermediate, or as far as possible. As far as possible. Okay, well. The first thing you do uh, when you enter the nest is to pick up the brilliant topaz. That's great. Then you try to get as much gold and shards as you can without getting poisoned. Easy. We, we succeeded. Oh, right. hold on. Even the smallest decisions forge your destiny. Pay attention. After these cards have been shuffled, you have to choose one. Oh. So this is the downside to what we just did. We want to look for gold and shards, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, so focus on that, I guess. You ready? I'm on it. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I think it's on the far right. Far right. I think it's on the far right. Far right, yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. Dude, that was actually... 300 gold like and 300 charts, yeah. That that was pretty sweaty. The ones that we've encountered before are mainly like just one choice. Uh, and it gives yeah, you something. Exactly. It's like a random thing. All Marsners gain extra HP. They also deal five... Yeah, no, we're like this... Yeah, these are... We're in Act 2 and we're using like baby lala characters right now so we gotta be a little cautious baby lala characters. yeah i don't know that's a phrase people use right <laughs> that's the phrase you used just a second ago <laughs> oh i drew both of my skull splitters here dude oh that's fine okay. double skull split oh right you can't <laughs> you well, can yeah. only use i mean one. obviously yeah uh, just double be... skull split it's easy yeah just do it <laughs> okay i will um i'll protect a little bit of our back line here and then uh, I still get thorns. Weakness skull split. I'll I'll oh. I will skull split for sure. But um, let's go captain's foul here. Resistance is lowered. Skull splitter, and that's going to be about it. Okay. But now he's taking four extra damage. So um, hammer but, him, it, which kind of offsets some of his physical resistance. You think we should yeah. go hard on the front line? Well, I I think we wait for our casters to do damage to him. So maybe if you can uh, attack other guys that don't have that resist. The dung beetles sort of have it too. So maybe you go on the fennec. Yeah, you think so? Well, yeah, with your range shots, I think I think so, yeah. Okay. It's not a big difference, actually, because of the mark. So it's up to you. Do some aim shots. I believe in all of your abilities. Have to slice the front line. And I'll deflect. Ooh, toxic rain. Yep. Good time to use it because no one's on fire. Absolutely. Now, expert tracker. I get draw one extra card per charge at the start of the next turn, then remove all charges. Mm, so that's going to remove. Is that going to remove like fast and thorns and all that stuff? Or No, it's just all that's going to do is give you an extra card draw at the start of the next turn. Yeah. And then okay. it's going to remove that charge of card draw because you could stack that. You gotcha. could have, like, five charges of it. Any of these you want to get rid of? I could get rid of Deflect, but it's going to give me a card now. It's free. This is a lot of uh, power to I use, I think though. Adrenaline you don't use a, a lot. Yeah. I could use it this uh, time because I'm going to gain two energy. Exactly. So I'll have you, five. You basically know your next card draw. Here. I have I have five, so I could discard one of these, I guess, but it's going to be discarded anyways at the end of my turn. I'm good. I think. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Let's oh, see what they do. I should probably click on enter. If you want it. Yeah. I mean, only <laughs> we if you just, want. The rest of the video could just be that. <laughs> oh, he's shelling up. You're taking a lot of damage, man. Well, that's good because that's his job. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel too bad. Uh, I only have... I have so I much have, barrier. I only have one. Oh, this is you. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Confused. Um, so I think you should free. barrier uh, the front line. Yeah, here. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah, give him that fat barrier. I and then you, a sacred bolt dude, I onto give you, the beetle. I could give you more barrier. Check this out. Boom. You could. Yeah. Sanctify. Okay. So sanctify means um, when somebody attacks him, we'll actually get some healing off of it, which is kind of nice. Yes, nice. Lifesteal. Oh, this is sick. That cauterize. I can get rid of all that bleed right now. Oh, nice. And this this is multi use heals. too. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's re that's really good for what we're facing. Uh, There's actually a skill like that in Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, 
sure. Uh, what do I want to do here? I guess I'll keep hammering this beetle. Yep. And then maybe I'll charge battery to get those side things. Man, I have a you lot You definitely of... want to hit the beetle with uh, frost and yeah, lightning. Yeah, Because yeah. he's, he's resistant physical. He's got physical resistance, but... I should have cast this before, but that's fine. It's I'll good. do a... I uh, only have two left. So it's going to do and one damage. I'll put this here. I would cast it, yeah. It's free. Yeah, but it's single use, right? Oh, that's right. The, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm just stacking lightning charges here because the sides will take it's gonna damage. Hit these two guys. And then I'll beef up our tank in the front. Good. Good job. Okay. Poison and dark. Shadow resistance minus one. Oh, with dark it says upon reaching 25 charges, suffer two shadow damage per charge, then remove all charges. Yeah, so it builds well, up and then it just boom blows up. Yeah, if they can get 25 charges on me here, I would be very afraid. If that fight, if the fight lasts that long, we're gonna have a problem. So I only have three this time. Oh, but I've got adrenaline. So I wanted to use that. Right, that was now I have plan. five. Multi shot, yeah, five damage to everyone. Not that great. I say I apply the bleed to the front line. He's close to dead. Yeah. And then backstab does a lot of damage. I like that that's in the back monster, actually. And marks, I think that's, yeah. I think that's decent. We just don't have a lot of ways to follow up on it. Um, does the uh, does the mark go away? Yeah, remove one charge at the end of the turn, yeah. I think maybe you're better off doing like a deflect, see what you draw. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea, yep. There you go. Hunter's mark. So um, apply, I would apply Hunter's mark to the second position because he's going to be yeah. our next like targeted guy. And then uh, I could do multi shot or dual strike just ends him, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Close. Okay. Next turn. Odds all over this. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm focused. I have I'm no. Focused. I have no problem with suggestions. Uh, okay, I only get to attack. I only oh, I see. Two. So he's got a thing on his uh, health bar that says he's gonna die next turn. That's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just in case he can't quite see a little bar on the left. Nice. Okay, and then I actually I'm gonna take the block myself. Do you have any taunt cards? No, I don't. I've been I've been looking, but I I haven't seen any. I'm sure he has some somewhere. Toss some some poop at me it's poo balls oh my god reginald okay i need to like just heal reginald yes <laughs> you think <laughs> you think i should pass that one I think um, that's a pretty good one yeah i'm gonna go let's see i have one additional one flash is gonna do eight damage we do Augury. all have some Augury's regen happening like even if you did healing rain they're gonna get plus one but we all have some stacks so it might be yeah, worth it now let's do it Fine. And they're wet. If we had lightning, that'd be cool, but... This is bad auguries free, so I'll do it. Okay. Um... Do Divine Retribution. Oh. Okay. Flare. So, this guy's gonna go down... Uh... I feel like this would be better to cast on, like, one of the big guys. They have, um physical resistance to you let's get that going and then i'll do i'll just get him he's yep. dead that's it okay all right so that guy's dead so i want to focus on the guys in the back row random monster wild hunt wild probably hunt, yeah yeah I think generally, um, as soon as that comes up, we use it. Good. Nice. Hit the right guy. Good job selecting that random. <laughs> target. I'll, hit the, I'll hit the lower guy with that. Yeah. No, That's you're it. Good. Bye. Kill 20 monsters. Oh, in my sleep. Okay. Ooh. All heroes. This is nice. This is the big one. HP and max HP. Is that regen, the one uh, on the right? No. No, no, regen is the little plus symbol. Okay, what uh, is that symbol then? 
This is uh, Vitality, HP and max HP plus five per charge. Okay. Remove one charge at the start of the turn. Uh, this is all, I can only play it once, but it gives everybody block, it gives everybody thorns, gives everybody the max HP, so Sweet. I think that's that's good. <laughs> Cost my whole turn, no big deal, but. Oh, man. These guys okay, are definitely got... tougher than in Act 1. Oh, Like, we sure. rolled through them in Act 1. Yeah, yeah. Well, they were sheep. Yeah. These guys, these are dung beetles, uh, the much more powerful species. I think I just go all in on killing the front guy. Yep, 100%. Um, especially with, because we got these two casters, these, these are the ones that we need. What was that for? Oh, yeah, it's for Okay, okay that probably nice. wasn't necessary at the end of the day, but... Yeah, I'll probably cast it on the one that's going to mm -hmm. live. Okay. Let's do a little mana gem here because we're at the end of combat anyways. Um, I guess I just cast all of these. Just cast them all, yeah. Cast them all. Okay, no more block. That's good. I should probably have like my big uh, crusher attack or whatever. Oh, backstab. Soon. That's it. Nope, I'm not going to get that. Oh, and I got slice. So I'm going to... No. You can't do anything. No, no points. No points for Gryffindor. Um, What do I want to... Let's enrage because I want to get a card draw here, maybe. That doesn't really help me. Okay, well, that actually does help me. Or paint. We're going we're gonna to bleed this guy. Oh, frick. <laughs> I even looked at I it. I looked at it. it. Like, yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. Collect waste. No, don't do that. Oh, my God. Yo, he's getting a little sketch back there. Well, he's dead, so I guess I want to heal as much as possible. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So there's no, like, between... Uh, round healing other, other than what your items are giving you? The combat bandages in this case. Uh, really no, matter. I think you're good. I see you dying! I'll finish him here. So we finish in round four. Good performance. It's not bad, honestly. Um... I do like that this punch is free. I think I'll take that. Ah, set up. Draw three cards. Place two from your hand on top of your deck. I like it. It's free. Hmm. I'm actually going to just two shards here for her. Yeah. So it looks like she can be built with like a whole ice thing, which is kind of cool. She could be built out as like a healer. Yeah, more flexible, eh? Yeah. I think okay, uh, so Reginald's kind of like that too. You could you could have a nuker build for him. Yeah. Let's go to the stone door here. Okay. As you make your way through the gorge, you come upon a spectacular stone door carved into the wall. Upon entering, a large hidden blade swings down from the ceiling and almost reaches you. You look down the long, dark corridor leading to the inner chambers, and at the end of it, you see a small tile protruding from the wall. It looks to you like it might be a switch to stop the blade trap. Entering seems too dangerous, and the switch is quite far away. So I almost should have actually... to activate the switch. No, hold on. This is actually know, really know. neat how they do this. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're drawing cards from your deck, and it shows you here like um, the percentage chance of of succeeding here. Now, because of Aldrin or Andrin's special or specific deck right now, the chance of drawing a range attack card is only twenty five percent. But if I, your deck I was got built this differently, trust me. Okay. I'm just kidding. No, you saw your one, obviously. <laughs> We're all dead. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, we have to try and uh, draw a card, and the results are individual to each character. So we need to roll, like, a, a one or lower, which we have a lot of one-cost cards, right? Apparently, so, yeah. Like, one or more zeros. than 60%. Yeah. Let's see. Dead, dead, dead. Everyone's dead. <laughs> Okay, open so we got wounds. some open wounds uh, on the ones that failed. Uh, you still got it. We still got experience. We actually got more experience for failing. Uh, but we have these open wounds. So if we draw this, we immediately get that bleed. But we can heal that off with Evelyn's Cauterize now. So Should have trusted me. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, so this is like the little mini dungeon of this area. 
And there's and the like boss at the end, it looks like. There's a boss. Do you want to see if we can get to him? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I don't know that we're going to. We might <laughs> fail. Because yeah, oh, look we're how already strong half these guys dead. are. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we might be slaughtered here and that's that's fine. Uh so we need bludgeoning damage. You got we got lots of that, right? I got bludgeoning, baby. Skull splitter? But my skull splitter is bludgeoning. Oh, that's good. Cause I have mainly slash. And yeah. pierce. I'm going to They're also probably gonna, weak to you holy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Enrage first. Warp paint. Hey, you remember this time. Yeah. Good job. Captain's foul. Okay, they're slow and vulnerable. Love that. Split the skull! That's big. With your, wait, 50 you're damage carrying a, a sword, though. <laughs> you know what? Suspend the disbelief for a minute, okay? I don't know. This game's oh. pretty believable. So the front guy probably only hits me. The middle two are ranged, and the back guy is probably like a healer of some kind. I'll, I'll try to target the back guy with our ranged dudes, I guess. Yeah. As best we can. Yeah, yeah. I've got that backstab card. Hopefully it comes up. Uh, expert tracker. Let's do that. Yeah, good um, thing you have that Yggdrasil root, hey? That's giving you the, the regen and thorns at the start of every combat. Discard up to five. Don't want to discard any of these. I don't think so, man. Maybe slice, but... You could try, yeah, get rid of slice. So I can't target you're it? You're looking for that injury card or that burn. Or that yeah, yeah, card. exactly. Yeah. Um, so I could, do you think I should just go all in on the back line? I think if we have the ability to target that back line, that caster, yes. Okay. And he is, he's resistant to, um... He's actually not immune to bleed, surprisingly enough. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go, he, I'm gonna hit him with the... He is resistant to range, but... The rupture? Yeah. Cause that... Can bleed. That is funny that he's not immune to bleed. I know. we saw skeletons <laughs> before that were... Right. Right, uh, well, usually they are, right? Because what, yeah. what are they bleeding? Holy, look at this dude's block. Uh, I got an achievement yeah. for him stacking 50 blocks. <laughs> We're doing awesome. I'll take it. Barriers. Oh, man. They're resistant to that type of damage. The uh, shadow damage. This is like a horrible draw. Okay. Well, I'll defend, I think. Let's defend yeah. you. Barriers and fade. Defend Reginald. <laughs> yeah. Even though I'm gonna fade away. Oh, I can you see might their, as well. Th I can see their cards. You wanna see what they're gonna do? Yeah, I was gonna say you might as well play these because they're free and Prismatic Field, Insulate. Do. So uh more resistance. And become more powerful and then frostbolt. Okay. What are you gonna do? Uh, plague shots, a poison shot. Ooh, lots of lots yeah. of plague. Dude, we've entered we've entered Hiding the time. death zone. <laughs> we're we're in trouble here. Okay. They have a lot of resist, hey. We yeah. need that holy we need that holy damage from uh Reginald. Yeah. But like man. I've crazy. taken like pretty much all damage cards with him, so and I still won't have a ton of holy damage. That reinforces a problem. Um, Ray of Frost is 35, though. I don't hate it. Yeah, they're I really resistant to Frost, especially the back guy. He's 35% yeah, resist, but... That does suck. Whatever. Doesn't it? We gotta take him out. Gotta use what we have. Yeah, but he's immune to, like, the special effect of it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Because I feel like he's gonna be the main problem here. He's gonna make everyone more powerful. <laughs> Yeah, we can't really stop that. But we just want to prevent as many stacks. Holy moly. I got 11 poison in the back line here, dude. Mm -hmm. Absolutely getting crushed. Uh, All right. Toxic. Yeah. Uh, there's no one's burning, right? So let's do that. I've got set up. Oh, the middle two didn't take any poison. Oh, they're immune. That's why. Choose the cards to place on top of the deck. Yeah, so your next turn, what do you want to draw? Hunter's Mark would be good. Ooh. Yeah, okay. It's, it, there's an X there, so I was like, am I removing it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, poison Dart or Aim Shot. I don't, you don't want Poison Dart because two of them are immune and you don't get mm. to choose. I'm going to Aim Shot. So, yeah, but that's basically going to be your whole cast, right? So you're basically only going to Hunter's Mark and Aim Shot because of the cost? Yep. Okay. 
Um, French. Oh, it's a random monster on the poison. Oh, dart. you had to flex too. So in theory, you could place a card right now that you would have, that you would now draw, right? I want to hit the guy in the back. And let's do poison dart random. Oof. Good try. Yeah. Okay. Mess I got a big, I got a big two energy here. Big, big two energy. <laughs> oh, okay. So the Bone Warrior in front is immune to bleeding, actually. It's the other three that are not. Okay. That totally makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Oh, damn. And stealth. Oh my god. Guys, this is the you're end. About to, you're about to witness the end of the party. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm just going all in on the guy at the back. Yeah, use your sacred bolt there first, because then you heal off it off the subsequent attacks. Nice. Cool. Okay. So she's dead next turn unless we clear this poison. Oh yeah, and you use your so you automatically use this uh, health potion if you go below forty percent. That's already it's been when used. you're damaged by others under forty percent. But yeah. yes, so that's already been used. Um, I mean, I guess we put this on. Yeah. Now, do you know if she dies, does she come back in the next encounter just with a? One of those I don't, cards. I, I don't know, because the only time we've died before was against like end bosses. Oh, I, well, theoretically. The theoretically, we, died. we died there. Yeah, yeah, if we were to have died, it would have been at the end boss <laughs> of Act One. But it didn't actually happen. But it, yeah, since it didn't happen, yeah, exactly. Uh, I guess I can try to do this. Uh, who's going next? I'll what, buff what you. Is, what is that uh, symbol? Which one? The one uh, that was on the one you just cast. There was like a. Look like a recycle symbol. Looks like a. Uh, I don't even know. Oh, okay. Actually, eh, don't worry about it. Vanished cards. Hold on. Uh oh, the transmission thing. Yeah. It's the I give the extra energy oh, and okay. the card draw. Okay. Yeah. Good. We've used that before. Yeah. Just wasn't familiar with the symbol. Evelyn's crushed. If your team survived, you'll resurrect with seventy percent of your life. But remember that nothing comes without a price. So then we'll have that death door thing, mm -hmm. which is pretty bad. Okay, not the end of the world, but it actually might be because I don't think we're surviving this. These guys are too strong. <laughs> All right, Andrin. Got Hunter's Mark. Oh, it's just picking the cards for me now. Do it. Do Adrenaline. adrenaline. Yeah. Oh, my God. Three, so you got eight, five. and that's good. I can, I can use all of them. I just need to pick the right order. Uh, Hunter's Mark first. So who are we going to try to mm. kill here? I think Hunter's Mark. Um, mm, the I can only guy? backstab the back guy, but then Slice can only hit the front guy. I can do the most damage to the guy in the back this turn. Yeah, but still Slice the front. Yeah, yeah. You got the right idea. Do your thing. I you think got Hunter's it. Mark the back. Yep. Backstab. Aim and shot. And then when you're coming out of stealth, you get uh, extra damage. Yeah. So put the aim shot on the back guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm just thinking, yeah, because I can't kill the front guy anyways. Yeah. Boom. We so could long. have killed the front guy if we if we selected, <laughs> just didn't attack the back guy, but that's a bit of a challenge there. Hey, Skull Splitter, baby. That'll take um, care of him. Yeah, it will. I just kind of feel like my next turn, I'm not going to be able it's, to do It's anything. overkill, yeah. It is overkill, but like, what's my other option, right? He needs to die. So I do it, yeah. Yeah. Bye. We might we might make it? Oh, I don't know. It's gonna be close. Maybe the uh, poison stacks are getting yeah, out of control. I don't, I don't think so. So this would be knowledge you take in uh to a future run, being like, okay, well these guys deal a bunch of poison, so you wanna kit yourself out to be able to get rid of that stuff, but So I'm definitely if I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use it now. Who do you Hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. That's who I probably would have picked too. Yeah. Healing rain. Do you think? Worth? No. 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 Well, actually, yeah. Since we have stacks, yeah, do that. Holy smite! <laughs> that guy's got block. Yeah. Hit the. Hit the. Oh, they have evasion. 
Oh, they did oh, get it. Oh, those Well, bastards. then you have to use it. You have to use it to clear it. Or just wait till their turn. But we have to attack them here. So, I mean, you may as well. Ugh. You should, you should maybe go Retribution. Oh, it's too late. It's okay. Oh. Yeah, no, I thought about that. Oh, a lucky scare Get it! Again. <laughs> oh my god, do we just go for that? Maybe if we kill it before the fight's over, we get stuff? Well, so this one doesn't have evasion, and he's a uh, golden scarab. So we get 150 gold per hero. But we, uh, I don't think we're going to survive the fight if we leave the others. Random monster. Backstab. There's a, there is a surprising amount of considerations that you need to make here. Yeah. And like, I just want to point out, we are barely scratching the surface of like, we're, we're running with pretty basic decks because we've only gone through a single act to, to find this new content. Yeah, and we barely, like we upgraded the town a little bit, um, upgraded some of our cards, but not very much. Yeah. Well. Oops. Oh, my bad. Oh, did you pass? That's okay. I could have I could have punched, yeah. It, it, I don't think it's going to matter that much. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> we'll accept, accept our Wait, feet. Wait, I think we can do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we could turn this one around, yeah. no problem. So maybe um, the mini dungeon a little bit, we bit off a little bit more than we could chew, but I kind of wanted to at least see, see what it was like. Yeah, because that's one of the things in the DLC, right? That's a new, yeah, yeah. new addition. Exactly. Okay, buddy, you got this. Oh. This character's Easy not game. very good against these guys, frankly. Oh, these guys are insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you want, like, heavy magic damage against them? <laughs> okay, I got this. Watch. Oh! Watch me whip and watch me nae You're Frodo now, Harry. It's, it's going down. Okay, and we'll do... Wait, what was uh, that? Oh, that was the thorns thing, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the first time you used it? No, it's... um. You can do it twice per round. Oh, twice okay. Twice per turn. Okay. So that resets every time. No! Bye, Andrin. Andrin. Don't worry. I got this. Don't even worry. I'm not Look worried. You're definitely dying. No, I got this, dude. Like, <laughs> there's like Kill no... that one guy, Elise. Come on. Come on, I can't kill even, that dude. one I, I, can't, I'm, I, I only attack Come front on, monsters, Lord. bro. I only attack front monsters, okay? So, like, that's it. Like, these thorns are gonna save me. Watch, 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 watch. I'm totally alive here. So, would you would you change the party up? Like, would you um, take this guy because he can only attack the front? See, I told you, I'm alive. Um... So, yes, because he's, he's all we have unlocked right now. We have to unlock more characters. Mm -hmm. um, but he, he suits this role fine. It's just not in this specific map. Like, I would probably, knowing now what I know, I would probably wait till Act 3 to venture into this zone. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're, if you're got, if you got a party that's built up already and you've got, you know, all of your cards upgraded and stuff, like, then it's a whole different story. Do it on! Kill that back one! Oh my god, you keep attacking the front one. Yeah, do I have to explain to you how this character <laughs> operates? Do I have to explain it every round? <laughs> Rip. You guys know okay. I'm just messing around, right? Hopefully. Yeah, they, they know, they know. They oh, know. I don't, I'm not sure about that. So, in our run, though, like, look how many cards we unlocked, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, that's pretty insane. 85? I got, no okay, so it's separate. It's showing me 91. Wow. Oh. But I don't see 91. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. I'm just scrolling fast. Anyways, uh, that was fun. Thank you for doing that with me. I'll Thank have you. links down below uh, for you guys to check out this DLC on your own. If you've never seen Across the Obelisk at all, then uh, hopefully you enjoyed seeing a new game. And if you've already been familiar with it, um, then heads up, new DLC is coming.